knew a trumpet player that had those same suspenders. He used to play at this small apartment. What is he good? Very. But word is he doesn't want to play anymore. Looks like he was too busy growing a beard. Too bad for that. Can I sit, Nicholas? In six months, Nicholas. I know very well how long it's been. You know what I mean. Since I've been gone, you've lost touch with reality and everyone. And what would you know about reality? Nicholas. What are you doing? Can I tell you a story? What kind of story? Your kind of story. You know that old firehouse on Basin Street? Is that a yes? Come on, the one with it. Small cafe with all the paintings. That one. One of the tenants was an old man. There was nothing special about him except for one thing. Wherever he walked, he brought a goose with him on a leash. All he ever did was walk to the grocery store and to get art supplies. People assumed he was an artist even though they'd never seen any of his work. And no one ever saw him interact with anyone else except for the goose. One day, for the first time, he left his house without the goose. He went to the hospital and told them that he was feeling sick. Turns out, he had cholera. They put him in a room with the other sick people. And pretty soon everyone forgot about him. Weeks passed. His next door neighbor started to complain about this strange sound they heard coming from his apartment. The man was quarantined in a ward, so they decided to break in to see what was going on. When they finally got inside, they were shocked by what they saw. The men had made hundreds of paintings of the goose, all scattered around the apartment. There was hardly any room to walk around. All of a sudden, they heard a strange sound, louder than ever. They went to see where the source of the sound was from. It was behind this wall that was hastily put up by hand. One of the neighbors grabbed a hammer and began to smash it down brick by brick. The first thing they saw was the goose's head. It still had a red collar around her neck. The sound was, of course, the goose was honking. The more they tore down the wall, the more she screamed. And then she finally became silent when there was a hole big enough for her to pass through. She started walking around the apartment, looking at each painting as if she recognized herself in every canvas. And then she let out one last honk. and flew through the window and hovered over the city all day. And so then, she disappeared. And you know what else happened at sunset? were auctioned off and what little money was made was donated to the infirmary where he was treated. People still say they see the goose with a red collar flying over the city.
Most people think it's legend. What do you think, Nicholas? same suspenders he used to play at this small apartment what does he get 